Welcome to Oji's Origami. Today we're going to do a uh, novice origami folders project and it's going to be a butterfly. Uh, it's a really good opportunity for you to use your um, pattern to paper or, or um, gift wrap paper, anything with a pretty pattern on it uh, for uh, a butterfly would be really great um, to use. Now today I'm going to use uh, a sheet of pink paper, white on one side, pink on the other, because it's easier for me to show you uh, the guidelines and the folds as opposed to using the pattern paper. It's hard to see the guidelines and things like that that I folded using uh, pattern on pattern. But it ends up with a very beautiful project. So let's begin. I'm going to start by folding uh, the traditional balloon base. And for those of you who know what a balloon base is, go ahead and fold that. Uh, for those of you who don't know the balloon base, here it is. I'm going to start with the white side up. I'm going to fold uh, corner to corner. Hold it in place. When they meet exactly, then crease. I'm going to open it up and do the, I'm going to rotate and do the same thing. When you open it up, you're going to have a crisscross design of guidelines. And then I'm going to fold edge to edge. Open it up and edge to, I'm going to rotate and do edge to edge again. I'm going quickly at this point because these are basic folds. When you open it up, you're going to have crisscross designs on the diagonal, and you're also going to have crisscross lines on the vertical and horizontal. Go back to that original fold from the bottom point to the top point to make a triangle. And then this point is going to fold over to meet this point. And we're going to use this as a guideline as well in the center. And once the points meet exactly, right, and try to be as exact as possible, and then gently fold your paper down and crease. So it looks like that. And the same thing on this side. I'm going to fold this one in like that. These points are going to come together like that. And once, once they meet exactly, hold them in place and then crease down here. So now you've got four points and the center looks like that. The next fold this bottom point is going to fold up to meet the top. Try to keep the center of the point on that center line that you, you can see. I'm going to adjust the camera just a bit here. Yeah, there we go. And now, this point is going to fold up. And you're going to fold it on an imaginary line. You're going to fold it up on a, an imaginary line. The imaginary line, one point is going to be halfway between the center line and this point. So right about here. Okay, so that's one point. Your imaginary line is going to go across this way. And try to make this distance the same as this distance. So let's say right about like that, if you know what I mean. So your imaginary line is running from here to here. Just a second. All right, and then we're gonna fold it up on that imaginary line, just like that, and crease. You're going through several layers of paper, so make sure you're a nice heavy crease. It just looks like that. And again, these uh, distances are approximate. 
The important part now is to do the same thing on this side and to make it exactly the same as what you've done here. And for me, I find it easier to rotate the paper over to do the exact same move. So it's going to be about halfway, but like that. I'm going to fold it over. Before I crease it though, before I crease it, I'm going to put it over and I'm going to look and see what it looks like. Well, to me, it looks like this point is way too high on the paper, so I'm going to fold it back down to maybe this, this area like that. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to do the heavy crease. So they look about the same. Once those folds have been done, you're going to lift this point slightly. You're going to lift it. And as you lift it, take one layer of paper from here. See that one layer right there? And you're going to fold it down on that guideline that you've just created. So you're going to fold it down. Once it's down, hold it in a place and fold your point back down then crease right here. So it looks like that. Same thing on this side. We're going to lift the point. We're going to take one layer of paper I'm going to lay it down. Once it's down, I'm going to fold this point back and crease. like that. Now to shape the wings, you're going to take one layer of paper and you're going to fold it down right from this point. You're going to fold it down, but do not fold it onto the center line like that. We don't want it straight down. We want it off the center line maybe a quarter inch, something like that. Once you've got it into a position you like, hold it and then crease. There's the center line right there, right? I'm just off the center line. I'm going to rotate my paper. I'm going to do the same thing with this side. Take this wing down. And you want it just off the center line. So there's a space. You want it to have a space. Like the butterfly wings are. Okay. And now we're going to fold your project in half. It's called the mountain fold. Like that. It's called a mountain fold because you're creating a mountain. See that? Okay. So we're going to fold it in half. But before you crease it, make sure those points of the two wings match. Hold them into position and then crease. Okay. And then we're going to open it back up slightly. Like that. Okay, now we're going to shape the body. Now we're going to shape the body of your butterfly. What, what we're going to do now, I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to open up this wing. And if you can imagine a line right about here, again, maybe a quarter inch, and draw an imaginary line from here right to this point, something like that. That's what you're going to fold this. That's what you're going to fold the wings up on. So about here to there is your line. So fold it up and crease. Open it up. Rotate your project. Do the same thing on this side. An imaginary line from about here to there. And fold it up. Then 
and lay it back down. Fold these outer wings back down again like they were before. And now what you're going to do is see these guidelines that you've just folded for the body. You're actually going to squeeze it together. Fold your wings up on those guidelines. And then fold these back down. Okay. And then you just shape your body with your with your thumb and fingers. Just like that. And that's your butterfly. Again, if you use the patterns paper, the project comes out really quite attractive. Very nice butterfly. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click on like, and please click on subscribe to Oji's Origami. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.